so last time when we left off with Navision Studio API integration we had set up basic authentication and we used it to run an endpoint uh, or data endpoint and we retrieved data in JSON so what I had forgot to tell you that uh, to fetch JSON data to fetch JSON data we need to be using links with OB data version 4 if you look at the first version if I can take you back to if I can take you back to web service and we use and we use this the first version this version if we can like we can let me like pull up this sales order sales orders so if I can get this link uh, then I add it in postman and we try to add basic, basic authentication here uh, it's already there remember this is required uh, these credentials are actual are encrypted in base 64 before they are submitted to the server so you don't have to worry about anything so if you try to pull the sales order you can see that the first version of all data retrieves XML data actually nowadays nobody uh, basically not a lot of people use XML in their projects as a way of transmitting data from an ending point JSON has become more popular so I would request uh, to use all data instead version 4 instead of this version 1 so uh, proceeding with the with what we are supposed to do today I wanted to show you how how we can create different links how we can create different links for different endpoints uh, so that we purchase different data uh, like purchase lines uh, items how we can fetch users and other stuff I will show you how you can create your own web service links so what you need to do is to go to press this button this new while you are in the web service section you press new after pressing new you select which endpoint which object you want to fetch normally the page has a lot of if you select page has a lot of endpoints compared to the query object so if you select the page object maybe I want to fetch purchase lines then I can like so if you select here the object ID mainly the object ID has the different endpoints you can get data from and if you try to go to advanced you can search make sure this is a name you can search different things you can fetch from Navision so if I can type like purchase 
purchase then i search this i can could get i can get like purchase orders can get like purchase list can get different can get purchase line maybe we are interested in purchase lines it's object id is 518 so we need to specify the object name this is specified automatically from the endpoint name and we need to specify the service name i think this is required you can call it purchase purchase line so so if i can check here then i double click here so i could when i press ok we will have our purchase line where is it where is it So, where's our purchase line? So here is our link. It has been generated. Sometimes it takes it. Uh, most of the time, it takes some time to generate this link. So we can copy this link. Then. We take it to Postman. Then you make sure that your authentication. So if you didn't watch the previous video, you can check in the description. It will show you how you can set up basic authentication. If you're you if you're currently using Windows authentication, this method won't work. Won't work. It requires Navision to be in basic authentication. Uh, it's quite a lengthy process, which involves generating a self-signed certificate for the Navision server. But if you follow that video, you can get it done as soon as possible. So you will need that for this tutorial. So make sure that you check it out. So if you make this request, here we got our purchase lines uh well nice and tidy so if you're integrating in a web-based project so it will be easy to you can use so if you can see here if, if i try to generate the code my credentials are encrypted in base 64. so for example if you're using curl uh if you're using php in PHP, there's a function called the base64 encode. You can like concat the username and password. Then you encrypt them in base64. Then you add them here. So, but it will be best if you just add the already encrypted string for security reasons. Uh, maybe you are, you are using jQuery as your primary language as your primary language to fetch data from navision uh is is so important that you use an already encrypted authentication string uh because it's easy for someone to like browse your your credentials and they actually uh, hack you or something. So it's better that you first encrypt this. Uh, so you can copy this code, then you take it to your project. It will work as normal as normal. So if we go back to the first screen, we go to Navision. You can generate as as many links as you want, according to what you want 
to, to fetch. For example, you are building like a point of sale software. This will be a good starting point to have some, uh, to, you know, Navision is used by a lot of people. So it will be very easy for someone to like integrate accountings, uh, in your application, uh, using Navision. It's actually, uh, like, uh, an, an amenity for someone. So integrating such accounting system in your, in the software you're building, it's actually, it's a good thing. So here I've generated item list. So let's check out that we can add like an object, a service name. So if we call this item list, then we press okay, press enter. Sometimes we need to make this published. You need to make sure that this is checked uh, for you to able to fetch uh, this link from Postman. So I guess that's it. So, so we have item list. I don't know. Sometimes it takes sometimes it takes sometimes to like generate the link. So you need to click like this again, and your link will be here. So I don't know why it's like that. I don't. Uh, it it's like uh, in the recent version. I think this is not the case. Uh Sometimes it takes long to generate this link. I don't know if it's a bug. So if it will like pick this link from here. Uh, then we take it to the to postman. So cause you can save this collection. Uh, I can save like this, like, like this is purchase line. I can call it like purchase, purchase line. Then we need to make sure that best authentication is on and your credentials are here. So this is just the best. I set it up these credentials last time. So you need to check out the, the recent video. So here are your other items, item lists. Uh, you can check the cost, standard cost, the unit cost. Uh, these are all the items we have here. If you can check in the vision here. If you go to, is it, it's like purchasing. If you go to purchasing, these are the items that we have. These are the vendors. So if we can just search here, you can search item, sorry, sorry about that. You can search like items. So anything you want uh, to find very fast you can search from this search bar. So if we want items, okay, let me first go back. Where are the items, item, item, item. Let's check them out. They are just item, basically. Here they are items. Uh, you don't like type item list. So these are the items. I don't know if I have switched back. These are the items. So anything you want, you just type here item. Okay. I think I was talking to myself. It's item, items. Then you search items. So here. So these are the same items that we have got in Postman. If you can check carefully, they are the same. Bicycle for under inventory so 
that's it I guess that's it so uh, I guess that's it for this video that's all I wanted to show you so next time we will run a post request uh, to change some data in Navision we like we will post cells and make some ad adjustments uh, we create purchase orders we change uh, uh, we add customers we will list users we will add users using uh, using postman so stay tuned uh, make sure you subscribe see you in the next video bye